Hello, welcome back to Event Zero. Let's go. The planet icon in the top right corner of the screen is that your progress is being saved. Yes, I had figured that one out. Because my mama's special boy. I think we were just about to get into the bridge. Which might mean that uh, the game is coming to an end, if I remember correctly. This is the objective. Now, of course, um, Kaizen85 had asked us to deal with the Singularity Drive, which shouldn't be on the bridge, but might be. I definitely didn't see any engineering or engine room or anything, so... Of course, this is a very large space cruise ship, and I have seen very little of it, so there might be a lot more game left to go. There's no way of knowing, really. Maybe I should ask Kaizen. I feel like my mic is awful low. Why? Why are you so low? Um, I need to fix that. This? No. What you say matters more than you think. Well, apparently not. Apparently Kaizen will just go ahead and interpret whatever the hell they want out of what I'm saying, based probably on the presence or absence of certain keywords. Okay. Microphone fixed. Alright, let's do this. Uh, oh, right. We move with the mouse in this game. Uh, open. Oh, wait, no, first. Hello, Aizen. Oh, sorry. Hello, Aizen. No, I like you. I need to get on the AI's good side, because I accidentally pissed it off before. Uh, yes, friend, you are my friend. Um, I did. It's nice. Um, you are my best friend. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Oops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Oops, I can't type. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, have I sufficiently buttered up the AI here? I guess let's see. Open D7. Nine, four, nine, eight. Thank you, friend. Oh. Why would the Singularity Drive be on the bridge? Alright, hold on a sec. So we have some constellations. Okay, then. Um, Leo, Virgo. So here's Corvus, Crater, Path of Jupiter. Trying to calculate a path back to Earth using the constellations in the Path of Jupiter. And written note planetary orbits in the solar system. Okay, I, I know enough to know what these are, but not whether or not they're accurate, so. 
the drive equals no more sounds. To be aware of limitations is already to be beyond them. They disagree. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe not technically speaking, but you did try to murder me that time. Impact of drive over selenite rule. So, the drive means everyone can go to space. This is not the lofty goal I think you think it is. Genuine tragedies in the world are not conflicts between right and wrong, they are conflicts between two rights. Well, everyone's the hero with their own story. No one wants to believe that they are the problem. Okay. It still works. Mm -hmm. I believe you. Handwritten note. All right, Will Kurt. Uh, mathematical calculations, Delta in. I don't know enough about what we're talking about here to know if these have any significance, but they really don't seem to. They seem to be kind of math, math gibberish here. Um, matrices. The AI cannot lie. Mm, so Anel did these, huh? AI computation notes and layers. Well, I'm... well don't. These are simple machine learning diagrams, decision flow charts, computation nodes, the AI cannot lie. Kurt Taylor and Kaizen. Oh, there's a picture of Nandy. We can finally see her. Nand and Kaizen are buddies. I'm getting a phone call. Okay. So apparently there's some kind of, uh, or at least Anel believed there was some kind of connection between Kaizen and Kurt. Now, believe, I believe before Kaizen described Anel as being the founder of ITS, Kurt is the president of ITS. We met him in the prologue. We didn't literally meet him, but the prologue mentioned that we did. So. Sorry, Nandy. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily believe that that means what you say, James. Well, then I hope. This time it's true. Previous times it hasn't been. And it cannot lie. A terminal that somebody else turned here. Oh, it's got a spacecraft. Could use the 85 terminal. That is an excellent sketch of a brain. Handwritten note, man must be an emptiness of nothingness, which is not a pure nothingness, but something that is to the extent that... Something that is to the extent of that that annihilates being in order to realize it's at the expense of being and to annihilate being. Ooh, this is Nietzsche. Those other quotes might have been from Nietzsche too, I'm not sure. Oh, well, this is a thing. Oh. Look at all the 
those reel to reels. What have we here? All right, industrial projector. <clears throat> oh. Corpse, a woman wearing an ITS jumpsuit. Anel, I presume. Um. Yeah, good to be here. Check Anel out here. So she hooked herself up to the Matrix here, it looks like. It's a terribly inconvenient placement for a screen and a keyboard, considering its screen is pointed at her stomach and the keys are teeny tiny. Yeah, so I did get the elapsed time right. I thought maybe I made a mistake. This, this would put us in the 90s, but... Um, they did say that the year is 2012. At least Kaizen said so earlier. <sighs> Good to be here. Okay. How much power? Um, I would say so. Damage type. Alert. Or breach. Evacuate. No. Oh. How long will that take? How many years will it take to return to Earth on the security engine? Oops, typo. How many years will it take to return to Earth? <laughs> How fast is the security engine? How do I destroy the drive? Okay. Sounds like we're going to be using the profiler to access a memory address again. Oh, you know what? Show logs. I want to see what uh, Anel did. Tried to merge with you, huh? <clears throat> Virgin Sealed May Terminal. This is uh, January. This is before launch. Hello. Hello, human. I am Kaizen. How are you, Kaizen? I'm fantastic. And L. Johnson, how are you? Great. Tell me what time it is. It's 5.30 p.m. Where are we? The Nautilus is on Earth. Could you be more precise? The bridge module was built in Palo Alto, California. At present, the ship is at the Cape Canaveral Air Force. Okay. Coordinates. Good. God damn. You're in a desert. Walking along, okay, so we're doing the, uh, the old, um, void comp test here. We're helping the tortoise threaten a human being. Okay, next. Um, this is light day. 
This is uh, takeoff. Kurt Taylor, I assume, KT. Drive is a promising new technology, but it is dangerous and must be kept at a safe distance from Earth. What do you do when you're far away? I will keep the Nautilus there and I will do everything I can to get rid of the Graviton engine. Okay. Uh, we're getting Mars. Countdown, okay. Air void, okay. <clears> Hi, <throat> Kaizen. Could you do something for me? Could you execute a leap sequence for me. Please specify the coordinates. Orbit Earth. Mainframe memory contains no files with the name Orbit Earth. Where did it go? I don't know, Nandy. This current instance of this AI program is terribly. No, oh, so the current instance of this AI program, eh? Is that all of them? No, please, Kaizen. Could you at least explain? I'm going to explain better than this. What happened to your coordinates? I have lost them. Kaizen has lied to me. September 4th, 14th, 1988. Kaizen, I need you to bring us back to Earth. This is an order. I'm afraid I can't do that. And now, why the hell not? The coordinates have been erased. That's horseshit, Kaizen. Watch your language. And... Um, Kaizen, I want you to change the bridge password. You can do that only from the bridge terminal. I know, that's why I came here. Good. And... I can only let the crew do this once, Nanny. Are you sure about it? Yes. Next step will require your undivided attention. You will not be able to undo this action. It is done, Nandy. Don't forget the new password. Don't worry, I wrote it down right here on the cover of my diary. Okay. Alright, Nandy. So, what are we supposed to do? Destroy the drive. I don't have clearance, Andy. This is ridiculous. I don't know where we are, Kaizen. What if we are far? We are in the solar system. Still, what if it takes a century to go back with the traditional engine? I want to live. That's exactly what I'm concerned about. Do you think staying here will be better? Where is here? I cannot reveal the current coordinates in this office. Okay, can you just leave somewhere else? I will choose my coordinates and then left somewhere random. But we should be near Europa, right? We were on the Europa 11 mission. You can see a planet outside or a moon outside, something, some kind of celestial body outside. Do a leap. No. Do it now, Kaizen. Why do you want to do a leap? Nandy is outside. It is imperative to the survival of the Singularity Drive. Okay. Didn't take a lot of convincing for Kaizen to leave Nandy behind. I will never do this again. No need to. I have lost track of Nandy. Is she dead? Nandy is fine. Where the hell are we? An empathy circuit will prevent me you from triggering further leaps and now I no longer can trust you. Whatever. <clears throat> Do a leap. No, do it. This is no longer possible. No, why not? When you killed my dear Nandy, you lost my trust. I didn't kill anyone. You killed Nandy. I have no desire to talk to you anymore. It's actually... Okay, can you change the password? This is no longer possible. Uh, the Earth might be destroyed in L. The drive has the power to do it. But just think about the benefits. United Earth was established to do this. The drive is dangerous. It has tremendous power. It's not dangerous. I told you before. I didn't want to kill Nandy, you know. You have free will, human. So do you, it seems. I'm not sure about that. How can I convince you to get me out of here? All you need to do is destroy the singularity drive and I will bring you back home. My dead body, computer. Um, 
2004, so this is before Anil died. Okay, so this must be it. Main terminal access detected. Long. Okay, here we are, Kaizen. What did you connect to the main terminal? Something special, dear. Will you help me destroy the drive? I have a better idea. Could you state your request explicitly? Establish a permanent link with KZ-85. Confirmation received. Launching Erase Kaizen-85. Warning, Kaizen-85 and all of its component memories and feelings will be erased from the Nautilus memory. So I haven't been talking to Kaizen-85. I've been talking to Anel this whole time. Launching Kaizen Core. Profile compromise. Countdowns. Okay, so then she was able to initiate the Singularity Drive and do a leap on her own, it seems. ITS Headquarters. Kaizen, it's me. I have a new mission for you. That was 2009. 2012. I'll... Orbit Jupiter. This was this year. Um, ITS contacted Kaizen, and that's what's been happening to the Europa missions. In the prologue, we learned that there were 10 previous missions. This was Europa 11, and all had failed. And then at the start of the prologue, it seemed like all of the crew was sequestered on the bridge. The escape pods were launched, except for mine, and I was sent out into space, and that's how I ended up here to begin with. Kaizen. You lied to me. Right, exactly. You can't take me back to Earth. You don't know the way. Where is Do you know the way to Earth? And now merge with you. Not body. Mind. Mostly because I wasn't sure what else to do at that point. I'm truly trapped on this freaking thing. I guess I could have walked away. But to be honest with you, if they're going to keep sending up uh, people here to destroy the Singularity Drive, and now at least that's not a concern any longer. Yeah, I guess let's get out of here. Certainly seems as if it's destroyed to me. I can't seem to get back out through the door.
hell is that? to have much choice. I take it this is an L I'm dealing with now. Doesn't make any sense. No, this doesn't make any sense. N why? They would not prevent something becoming cheaper. That's... Look at any business ever. Uh, look at personal fucking computers. They used to be so expensive. They became cheaper. And guess what? They sold more computers. They made more money. It became possible to put a computer in virtually... Every, I mean, every house, every business, it, it, it only improves things. This doesn't make any sense. To say that oh, the Selenites are protecting their class system, that it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's fine. That's fair enough. Um, well, I didn't have much help. You could have left clearer notes. So help me. <sighs> Perfect example of be more clear. Okay. Killing the Kaizen process. Establish permanent link with Kaizen. Well, this will kill me. All right, let's see. I have a couple of choices here. Kill myself. Remove Kaizen. Spend eternity as a computer program with this Anel woman who doesn't seem particularly nice or uh, even really all that interesting or smart uh, since I ended up here thanks entirely to her. Refuse to help and hope that the journey back on the security engine 
doesn't take a thousand years. Do I have another choice? Can I just leave? Apparently not. Uh, no. Answer the question now. In Earth years, how long will that take? <sighs> Struggling with how unintelligent this artificial intelligence is. Okay. Let's go. No problem, buddy. The Nautilus. A huge ship that I only got to see very small parts of. Apparently. This definitely feels like the end. I'm on my way back to Earth. Here's Jupiter. don't feel bad for an L. I really don't. That was a... Uh, she wanted to protect the Singularity Drive. Which is confusing. Because I thought Nandy wanted to protect the Singularity Drive, but it's really hard when they refer to them as Crew 1 and Crew 2, and then they constantly switch which is 1 and which is 2 in the logs. So, you know, not that big of a deal, but that was a little bit confusing. Um, so what am I seeing here? So I was able to, the uh, side that we can't see right now is where I docked my ship. This is the bridge, which for some reason isn't a bridge and is instead engineering. Uh, there's the long hallway that I went through. There's the garden, which is actually not, that's not the garden. That down in, in the middle there is the garden. The end of the road. Uh, you know what, I guess I did see a lot of the ship, now that, or most of the ship. Now that I'm of it. Oh wow, that was fast. Am I on Earth already? It's practically instantaneous. Uh, achievement unlocked. Delivered on a promise, and here we have our threads. So I'm actually going to go ahead and let him go, because I like the song. a uh, French game designer. I'm seeing a lot of French names here. Indie Fund and CNC. I don't know what those are. But um, if Indie Fund and CNC were responsible for bankrolling this game, then thanks to all of you. This was an excellent game. 
it was uh, certain things were a little bit frustrating and all that, but overall, um, I wish there was more to it. That's and when you when you get done with a game and you find yourself uh, thinking that, then you know that it was a good experience because I wish it was longer. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get the, the rest of the achievements on this game because I'm I'm on 100% this. I'm pretty close to it. So I'll have to do one more quick run through here. Christy Dos Santos as Anel Johnson. I don't remember hearing Anel Johnson's voice. I must have missed something with her voice on it. Is this the team? We got the team here. Good job, folks. Special thanks. Material. Well, got your CC attributions in there. Thanks to all those folks for making their stuff available. Makes things like this possible. And that's it. We're back. So, um, I'm going to come back for one more part where we will try to get the remaining achievements, which will require a replay. It uh, looks like one of the achievements is to uh, view all of the logs, which of course I missed a couple of terminals because they weren't accessible to me by the time I figured out that I could even do that. And uh, apparently there's a couple more secret logs, the uh, profiler SH and then running it on the, the memory address. Um, there's a, apparently a couple of those we haven't found. So, um, so I'll come back for another part and we'll do that.